starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. I noticed that fellow while I was cutting a twig a while ago. One of the arachnid or geopete. Also known as a common garden spider. Ever stop and think how he spins that web? Seen him a hundred times and I'll wager you never gave it a thought. Hmm. Now look here. Cocoon of the Cecropia moth. Closed himself in there as a caterpillar and soon will come out as a moth. You know how or why? No. That's the difference between us, Jeff. We both see the web in the cocoon, but I know the how and the why. And I learned it at school. They don't teach us that in Sunday school. Mm, if you keep listening, you'll learn a lot of things. God made the spider and the moth the same as he made you and me. Made them for a reason, too. If you learn the reason of God's ways and have faith, you'll be a better man and help make a better world. I'm sorry, but we must go. I'm ready. Thanks, Doc. I think I know what you mean. Good. Bye, Gramps. Bye, Bye Doc. Bye. How'd you do it? Didn't take much doing. Just a little explaining. Just like a young colt. Tell them no without telling them why. Makes them clamp down on the bit. Well, that gives us two rules for righteous living. Can anyone think of a third? Sylvester? Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That's a very good rule, Sylvester, but what we're looking for are rules for righteous living from the Bible. Oh. Diane? Love thy neighbor as thyself. That's a fine one, Diane. It's from Leviticus. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Now, uh, Jeffrey, can you repeat the three rules for righteous living? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, don't be overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Yes, Harry? That's wrong, Miss McClellan. It's be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. That's correct. Uh, do you remember the third rule, Jeffrey? Um... Hey, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Very good, Jeffrey. Now, children, those aren't just sayings to be memorized and forgotten. They're meant to be rules for living be used and followed in all your relations with your families, your friends, yes, and with strangers, too. Sylvester? Well, how can we love our neighbor if he's a stranger and we don't even know him? Well, that's a very good question, Sylvester, and I think the best way to answer it is to show you the short moving picture on the machine. Harry, would you draw the blinds? some pictures showing the fearful damage done by the spring floods in the northern part of the state. As you can see, thousands of people have had their homes swept away and have lost everything they have in the world. And to answer your question, Sylvester, although we don't know these people, and we'll probably never meet any of them, they're still our neighbors in the sight of God, and we should do unto them as we would have them do unto us. If a disaster such as this should strike us here in Calverton, the people of Crescent and Capital City would come to our aid and assistance. That's what being a good neighbor really means. Does that answer your question, Sylvester? Yes, ma'am, but... How can we help these people if they live so far away? Well, I was about to come to that. The Red Cross is finding them temporary homes, but a great deal of money is needed to buy food and clothing for these unfortunate people. Would you all like to help and show them that our Sunday school class can be good neighbors? Yes! Yeah. 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 Well, that's fine. Let's make a project of it. Suppose that between now and next Sunday, you all try to earn as much extra money as you can. 
and we'll send it to the Red Cross with a special request that it be used to aid the children of the flood area. How does that sound? Terrific! I'll give my allowance. And I'll give mine, too. Well, I'm delighted you're all so anxious to help. Well, I'll see you all next Sunday. Class dismissed. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. How much do you think we can earn, Jeff? All right. Bet I bring in more money than you do. I bet you you don't. How much you want to bet? You're not supposed to bet for money. You stay out of this. Bye, Bye you boys. See you next Sunday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so long. Well, what about it, you chicken? Come on, Jeff. We got things to do. Scared, huh? I am not scared. All right, what do you want to bet, a buck? I'm not going to bet any money, because all the money I earn, I'm going to turn in. Why don't you bet him a poke right in that nose? You stay out of this, or I'll give you a poke, all for nothing. Yeah, says who? Says me. Break it up! Break it up. Well, I'm not as scared of him, even if he is bigger. Well, you know what'll happen to you if you get caught fighting in Sunday school. Well, what about it? You want to bet? No. Chicken. Come on, Porky, let's go. You can let him call you a chicken. Names will never hurt me. <laughs> well, I didn't get the big lunker, but they're not so bad. <laughs> they're beautiful. Would you like me to clean them for you, Gramps? You must be tired. Well, that would be nice, Jeff, yes. <laughs> Do you think a nickel a piece would be okay? Huh? It's, it's for, for the, the children, children of the flood, flood area. What? <laughs> Where's that dad rat of tobacco? I'll find it for you, Wait Graham. a minute, wait a minute. Last time I mislaid it, it, it cost me ten cents to have you find it for me. That kind of money, I'd have to give up smoking, and I ain't a mind to do it. Now, you stay right here, I'll find it myself. see that. Now, where'd they put my glasses? I'll find them for you. No charge? No charge. Where do you think you left them? <laughs> In the setting room, likely. Oh! Where's Jeff racing to? Going to find my glasses. For free. <laughs> How much do we owe him? Well, according to his calculation, it's two dollars. But, uh, I make it a dollar ninety. No, Gramps. It's two dollars. Oh. Look. <laughs> well, now, you look. This, uh, item here, milk and cow, is that twenty cents or thirty cents? It's only twenty. I asked for thirty, but you wouldn't pay it. <laughs> well, I still make it a dollar ninety. Oh, here. Let me see it, you mathematical wizards. Two dollars. Pay up, Dad. Hmm. I seem to be a little short. Do you mind waiting until next Friday? Friday? But, Gramps, I need it for Sunday school tomorrow. Dad, now stop it. You're breaking his heart. There it is. Thanks, Gramps. All right, young man. Off to bed. Okay. Oh, incidentally, I have to go in early for choir practice. How early? Seven. Well, that means I'd have to hang around for an hour. I'll ride my bike in. Good night, Mom. Good night, Graham. Good night. If there were more like him, the Red Cross wouldn't have much trouble raising money. Mm-hmm. That part of it's fine, but Porky let something slip. I'm afraid Jeff isn't thinking so much about the Red Cross and the flood area and the poor children as he is about contributing more money than Harry Connors. Huh? Two dollars. Boy, I'll bet it's twice as much as that wise guy Harry Connors earned. <laughs> Why do men have to wear ties, Gramps? I got me, boy. Count of women, likely. Women don't wear them. I guess they feel better if a man got something around his neck. That's the best I can do. It's okay. Right. Thanks, Gramps.
Looks like a storm is making up. We could use some rain. Bye, Gramps. Bye. Oh, hold on a minute. Your mom told me to ask you something before you left. And I clean forgot what it was. Something about Sunday school? No. Oh, I know what it was. You got a clean hanky? Right here. <laughs> okay. Bye, Gramps. Bye. We'll be late. Come on. Thank you, Sylvester. Diane? I earned 65 cents helping my mother do housework. That's very good, Diane. Harry Connors. Dollar? Ninety cents. I earned a stack of potatoes and digging worms for old man Beasley. I'm really proud of you, Harry. Jeffrey Miller. I earned two dollars. Oh, that's splendid, Jeffrey. because you never had it. I did so. You shut your mouth. Who's going to make me? Me! Boys, please, remember where you are. Why do you have to lie about it? I'm not lying about it. I earned two dollars. Then I must have lost it. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't leave the two dollars home, Jeff. Sure, I'm sure. I put it in my pocket last night before I went to bed. If you lost them on the road, someone might have picked them up. I thought of that. But let's keep looking. Hey! What are you looking for, crybaby? No wonder you didn't want to take the bet. You were scared of losing. Even the girls earned more than you did. They did not, Jeff earned two dollars. How do you know? Did you see it? No, but I keep your big nose out of it. I earned two dollars and I lost it somewhere. I'll either find it or earn two more and bring it in next Sunday, like Miss McClellan said. Ha, ha, ha. You want to bet? Yeah, I'll bet. What do you want to bet? I'll bet you don't find the two dollars because you didn't lose it. And I'll bet you don't earn two more and bring it in by next Sunday. And I'll take Lassie and if you don't bring it in by next Sunday, I'll keep her. What, are you crazy or something? Scared, huh, Jeff? Chicken like always. I am not chicken. I'll bet you my bike. It's worth more than two dollars. I got a bike. This proves you're faking. You didn't even earn a nickel. I did so, I earned two dollars. So where is it? I told you, I lost it, and I'll either find it or earn two more. So what are you worrying about then? If you want to prove you're not faking, take the bet. I dare you. I double dare you. I triple dare you. All right, it's a bet. Jeff, what are you doing? You keep out of this. Nah, nah, nah. It's all right, Porky. But you'd better take good care of her. Why shouldn't I? She might be mine forever. <laughs> Jeff, you're batty. You can't do this. He's got to do it now. I triple dared him. Come here, Lassie. Come here, girl. Come here, let me do it. Stay with Harry, Lassie. Okay, Let's go. Jeff, are you sure? Yeah. I'm sure.
You don't think I meant to lose it, do you? Of course not. Then why won't you loan me the money so I can get Lassie back? Then I'll earn it and pay you. Sit down, Jeff. There's something you evidently don't understand. Giving, lending a helping hand. Now, this isn't a matter of dollars and cents. It isn't how much you give, you know that. It's the spirit and the feeling behind the giving. I was just trying to give more than Harry Connors. I know. That's the trouble. It shouldn't make any difference to you what Harry Connors gave. You're Jeff Miller. Giving isn't a, a race or a contest. You don't have to compete with anyone. But he dared me. He triple dared me. That's another thing, Jeff. In fact, the thing that concerns me the most. And for some strange reason, you seem to think that, that saying no, not accepting a dare, makes you a coward. Well, it doesn't. Not at all. In fact, there are times when it takes a great deal more courage to say no. Now, you got yourself into this mess because you were afraid to turn your back on Harry and ignore his dare. Maybe I did. But what if I can't earn the $2 by Sunday? I'll lose Lassie. That's right. Good night. Don't you think you're a little too hard on him? Oh, Dad, frankly, I don't know. Maybe I am. But he's growing up so awfully fast, and, and I desperately want him to try to fight his way out of his problems instead of letting us solve them for him. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. $1.55. And tomorrow's Sunday. I know. Would you like for me to loan you 45 cents to make $2? No, thanks. Why not? I remember what you said. I'll work it out by myself. I'll be going in early again tomorrow morning. I'll ride my bike. All right. Good night, son. Good night, Mom. Bye, Graham! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, I'm gonna give you 45 cents, and sometime next week you can scrub out the cow stall. No, Gramps. I can't take it. Well, why not? Oh, don't go away. I'll be right back. All right, all right, I'll come. Hello? Who? Oh, yeah. Oh, she did, eh? Yeah, he's here now. I'll tell him. Uh, that was Harry Connors. He's getting dressed for Sunday school. And he says that Lassie got away from him. And he says that if she comes here, you better bring her with you or else. Hiya, girl. Goodness me, are you ready to get been, home, huh? Let's get this roof off you. There.
two dollars I lost last week. Well, goodness me. Well, Les, you must have known where they were all the time. Do you know what? I'll bet it dropped out of your pocket last Sunday when you pulled out your handkerchief to show me and the wind blew it into the bushes. Now get going because you're late now. I won't need that 45 cents. But thanks anyway, Gramps. Well, get going now. I can't fool around here with you because I've decided that I'm going to get dressed and I'm going to church too. Bye, Gramps. Bye. Well, I worked hard all week, but all I could earn was $1.55. So I'm going to donate that now. But Lassie found the $2 that I lost earlier. So I'll let her contribute that. Lassie? Thank you, Lassie. You're a good neighbor. 